Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Aries and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of April 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So Aries, we have number 19, Flexible. Let's read that out to you. Essential meaning, teachability, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising on what's most important. The Oracle's message is, a tree's roots are solidly planted in the ground, yet its branches can bend in a hurricane. Whereas a rigid structure, like a building, would come crashing down. Consider how the tree remains supple and secure when everything around it may be in shambles. This is how you need to be now. Willing to learn new things, teachable, malleable, yet firmly grounded in who you are. Common sense is important but so is an open mind. Stay curious, stay open, stay aware. At this time, others will be more flexible with you too. That's your first message. Let's pull you a crystal angel card. What do we have for Aries? Thank you. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Aries for the first half of April, 2024. We have Unikite, answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Well, that's lovely. I'm also gonna pull you a number card for the first half of April. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. We have abundance, number 88. All right, Aries, let's see what we have for you with the cards. What do we have for Aries? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides, first half of April 2024. Message for Aries, first half of April 2024. Let's do one more shuffle. All right, we have the Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the Empress. King of Pentacles and we have the Eight of Cups. Temperance. Bottom of the deck we have the King of Swords with the Sun. So, Page of Cups can be a message from the heart. This is your immediate past, message of support. It can also be um, 
something coming in that can be a positive message can really kind of like lift our spirits in some way here Aries so this just feels here that there's some kind of um message coming in in some way but generally it's it's it feels either very supportive for some of you if this was to do with love romance or someone who cares about you a friend family member for example as well someone who you're connected with it could well be someone is telling you about something or somebody could be putting you forward or introducing you to somebody to help you you know um can also be someone saying you need to leave that place, you know, or giving you encouragement, you know. But the the Eight of Cups is about leaving. It's about walking away, leaving something behind. That seems to be kind of like a key focus. I think that this is the energy here, Aries, where you're working really hard, but you want your you want um I feel that you want to, to be valued and appreciated in terms of, of what you deserve and nothing less than that. The Eight of Pentacles can be somebody who puts a lot of energy and time into what they do. Now, this can also be very good in terms of um, education, uh, professional, you know, getting a professional qualification, bettering yourself in terms of educational courses, additional training, um, adding, you know, skills to your repertoire, um it's it is a card of just very 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 much about hard work um it can also be for me as a reader to do with things like temporary jobs internships apprenticeships so the fundamental issue is that there's a lot of hard work that you're doing but the the fundamental energy is that you're looking to leave and it's either because you're not going to get the opportunity that you want in your current circumstances. For example, I think that you're just working towards more money um, or it's, it's somebody who, um, again, the King of Pentacles can be somebody who manifests money or the energy of that manifesting greater stability and security and success. So this could be a key focus for you here, Aries. For those of you, it might be that you're not getting the abundance that you want. This could be the issue. Uh, the Empress is about new abundance, the creation of something new. Could be feeling that you sh you feel that you need to advance in some way, that you deserve um, even the next level up in terms of money, career, finances, greater recognition. For others of you, it could well be some kind of structured way where if you get uh, you know, a qualification under your belt, you're entitled to more money, but more, you know, uh, the next level up in terms of status change. Whatever that scenario is, Aries, the focus is with the Empress are, is of, of new abundance, creating a new reality where you don't feel lack, where you feel that, that sense of bounty and fulfillment, and certainly that potential new bath path growing where you can thrive you know this is that kind of scenario I'm just I feel that you're looking to walk away because you're not going to get the opportunities where you are sometimes that might well be just because it's not available to you for others of you it might well be to do with um you just don't feel that you're you're, you're doing all the work but you're not getting the abundance for for what you do uh, this can be an incredibly hard working card like I said I think in the immediate past I mean this just feels very positive in terms of something might be coming in for you or someone might be putting you forward or recommending you or introducing you or telling you about you know uh, an opening I mean this just feels that kind of energy for others of you it can be very positive in terms of you know encouragement or support or advice even Temperance is, is a great balanced energy. It, it's about bringing things back into balance, likely through transforming your situation here. Um, and I feel this is, this is to do with the money aspect of things. It's getting the right kind of blend of ingredients for what you're looking for, the work that you put into a scenario here. You want the right blend of ingredients where you can be in a setting where you can thrive. I just feel that you want advancement here, Aries, and you're not really getting what you what you need. There can be a level of patience while you're manifesting this, I feel, but I definitely feel that there is some kind of, I mean, it definitely feels like there's some kind of positive breakthrough coming your way. 
Um, there may well be a need to be flexible, but we do have answered prayers here to do with abundance. This just feels like, you know, um, somebody communicating to you here. King of Swords can be somebody in authority, can be a leader, male or female. Uh, but this could be somebody who is... It could well be the same king, somebody who said, "I will, you know, I wasn't. Sh we're not sure if we can give you any more, or, or promote you, or um, it, there's a position open for you." I mean, it could well be someone deciding to do the right thing. For others of you, these are two separate people. You know, again, if you're certainly if you're being introduced to somebody else, or put forward for something, or hear about it. This would be a great energy here in terms of some kind of communication coming in that is a big yes. I mean, this is the energy here with the sun. The sun is success. It's light after dark. It's a great card of growth, success, abundance, um, good news, uh, celebratory energy here. So uh, this feels here, if you're looking to leave a place because you're not getting what you want, either someone is understanding that they're going to have to meet you halfway to keep you and again there is some kind of breakthrough in terms of having that conversation to get greater abundance maybe recognition value appreciation for others of you these are two separate people where you are choosing to to leave somewhere and you're just waiting for the news that well that news is coming in in the near future there may well be a degree of flexibility here that's needed But it feels like there's an answered prayer coming in. Just lovely energy. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. It really is. I, there's always a reason why I say here comes the sun, because it feels like that in a reading. You know, it, it feels like just, you know, that sun coming out in a reading. It feels like everything's about to get so much better. Go out and plant new life seeds, so for your future, number 23. Aries, that's what I have for you for the first half of April 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful first half. I will see you next time.